Hi, good afternoon traders. In this video, we are going to quickly take a look at how one can get started with trading view and um, how you can plot charts, change time frames and the various different types of ways in which price can be plotted. So here I am on the homepage of tradingview.com. Um, very unlikely of a of a charting software homepage. Nevertheless, they have their own personality and style, which I like. Now, the reason I've got you um, or I've started this video with the homepage is um, as you scroll down, there will be a lot, but there's this section called explore features, this one. As you click on this, it will take you to a page where it will talk a lot about all the different types of features. Very nice. But my objective of bringing you or showing you this page is essentially the desktop version. Uh, it's a cloud based platform which we can access um, anytime from anywhere and any device. And the access can be done primarily in two different ways. That is you open the internet browser. For example, over here right in front of you, uh, it's an internet browser and within the browser we can open the charts and do our, our work. There's another way which they had introduced the, the app which we can download. It's like an EXE and it sits on your laptop or desktop or your iPad or, or phone as well. So when you click on this desktop app, it talks about the app and then it shows you a link from where you will be able to download the desktop app. Um, if you're using a Windows, Mac or a different uh, operating system like a Linux. Linux. Um, I use the, um, the Mac OS. So when you click on this, you can download it. And once you have installed it, your uh, trading view down here, as you can see, stands here as I click on it. This is the Trading View desktop app. Um, I prefer using the app. There are, I think, in terms of speed, a little efficiency. Features wise, it's more or less the same, but look wise, feel wise, I think it's a little better than opening your charts within the body of your internet browser. So that will, this, this process will get you started. You will have the desktop app installed and running. Depending on the plan that you're using, there's a free plan and a basic pro and premium and all that. Um, there will be certain restrictions irrespective of whether you run it on the, on the internet browser or on the app. Now that we have installed the app, in this video, I will uh, walk you through few aspects right on top over here right on top over here you can see symbol search then there are something related to time frames this one which they call time interval and then the ways in which we can view our charts and uh, this is that section the bar style so let's talk about these three sections in my following videos i'll take care of the rest over here now when we come to the symbol search when we tap on it or click on it this is what comes up all stock futures forex cfds crypto index economy and over here the various exchanges from which trading view access can access data and show us the charts all sources will essentially search your stock from all the various exchanges. However, you can dedicate your search to that particular exchange. For example, if I keep it at all sources, all right, and let's say if I keep all over here, so within the entire list of exchanges uh, that they have, if I let's say type I C I C I that's it then on the right hand side you can see the uh, the flag the national flag 
and the name of the exchange pops up. So if I type ICICI, it gives me and all, it gives ICICI Bank, NSE, ICICI Lombard, ICICI Pru, NSE, then it goes to the futures, then some ICICI Bank Limited in NYSE, which is the ADR, then ICICI SEC, etc., etc. Likewise, as you scroll down, there can be ICBA, it's, it's ICICI Bank, uh, I think this is a GDR or something, so it pops up. Um, again, depending on the speed, I do not wish to look at all those things, so I have dedicated my search only to NSE. Um, yes, if you want to look at something which is the NBC, then you have to change it. That, that is something that we need to do manually. When we do all, it will show cash market, futures market and all that ICICI starts with. Stock will dedicate only to the cash market instruments. Futures will only show those stocks which matches ICICI. Now, if I just type ICICI BAN, then only, of course, ICICI Bank will pop up. If you click on this, the near month, next month, uh, contracts come in and these are contract wise these are continuous and these are just the contracts always stick to the near month that is ICICI bank one continuous current contract in front this is the one which will give you the right information in terms of the continuous chart and in terms of volumes and participation also as you click on it your charts will change to ICICI bank now every time you need not go all the way up here, tap on it, then change the name. You just on the body of the chart as you're looking at it, analyzing, etc. You just right there, if you just type A X I S, then automatically that box comes up. So one step can be reduced. Just typing the name of the stock or few letters of the name of the stock will bring this symbol search box it will pop up and then accordingly whether you want to look at the stock or the futures you open it up and there you go it's opened so that's how you can open any instrument now let's say for example if you want to open the chart of tesla now tesla will not give any information under national stock exchange so I can either do NASDAQ or I can do all sources. So I know it's, uh, it's listed in NASDAQ. And so if I just select NASDAQ, there you go. This is Tesla. This is the Tesla's chart over here right in front of us. Right. So <clears throat> let's say go back to Tata Motors, T-A-T-A-M in NASDAQ. Of course, it will not give me anything. I just scroll down and select my NSE futures, Tata Motors, Neoman chart. There you go simple now that we know how to open chart from any of the exchanges feel free to look around for example at my end i have created few lists in one of my videos i'll show you how these list these lists and subsections can be created but over here under something i call global markets i've kept something i've kept the dow jones i have kept the xtx nifty I have kept gold also to keeping a uh, close look at gold and uh, this is the dollar index which is Dixie etc etc so the way you can do this as I said I'll dedicate a different video for this but as I'm just showing you you come to this plus sign up here add symbol click on it now whatever you wish to find you have to look around a little bit you can keep it all if you're looking for some kind of an index some particular index let's say S&P 500 or something, you have to try a little bit here and there, okay? Uh, because the naming can be different. So there you go, this is the SPX, this is the S&P 500. You tap on it, it will get added. Because it's already added, it is giving me remove from the watch list. It's already there in my watch list, SPX. There you go, this is S&P 500, right? So, easy way and uh, Quite a quite a exhaustive list of exchanges and stocks that we can access with the help of trading view. Now let's come to the second section on the top over here. This is time interval. Now, as you click on this, it shows various time intervals starting from seconds, minutes, 
hours, days and any specific range. Quite exhaustive. Um, again, I think that because I am personally using the premium version, I will, I have the access of all the different possibilities. But a basic version or a free version will have definite restrictions. You will probably not be able to open any particular time frame of your own. If you notice up here, I my preferred time frames for the Indian equity market are the 15 minute, 75 minute, 125 minute, daily, weekly, monthly. These are the time frames which I prefer. I essentially try and stay between this 125 daily, weekly, 125 at times 75. When the market goes volatile, I increase the time frame. So just these are my favorites. So the way to mark them your favorites, of course, is this star. So whichever time frame you prefer, just click on this star and that gets added every time you need not drop down like this. If you are a paid version of TradingView, you can create your own time frame. At one point of time in my career, I was uh, quite intrigued by the 19 minute time frame. Now, over here, whether it's 19 minute, hour, days, week, of course, you can select here. So it's 19 minutes. I can hit on add. And there you go. You can see over here, 19 minutes have got added. You might be thinking that what's there with 19, right? Uh, if you calculate the amount of time uh, in minutes which the Indian equity market trades every day, and if you take a square root of that, you will find 19. So essentially there are 19, 19 minute bars or candles in one day of the Indian equity market. So. It was a fancy intelligent intellectual way of figuring out the time frame. But then soon I realized it's 19 or 15 or 75 or 60. Doesn't matter so much. What mat matters, very important. The reason why I trade, when I, why I look at 15, 75 is because each and every candlestick is of the same time period. Don't trade the 60 minute time period. Don't analyze because one candle will not be made up of 60 minutes. It will um, distort your analysis it will distort your trading decisions right that's the section over here now I think there is a, a, a shortcut in this case also say for example you can just type the number rather than every time going up there and clicking on it you can just type the number you can just type 75 and hit enter the 75 minute opens up you can just type 19 and hit enter the 19 minute opens up one d i think will give you daily d, d will not give you say for example if i <clears throat> if i type d okay i think it works now okay that's nice okay now this is this will be a problem because let me check if i am on 19 minute chart let's say and if i type d yeah because the moment you type an alphabet it goes to symbol search it will not change the interval so the moment i type one means an, a number now the software thinks in terms of time periods and not symbol search. So it makes sense. One D will give you one day. One W again will give you one week, one M, one month and so on. So forth. that's a simple uh, shortcut in which you can do this. So we have covered um, number one, how to install the desktop app. Number two, how can we access uh, names of stocks across various global exchanges and how we can change around with the time frames i'll share this again because of the fact that i'm using a premium version of trading view i'm probably and i'm of course i'm quite sure about it can access uh, all the various opportunities possibilities and can open custom time frames i'm quite sure that the free version or the basic versions of the software will restrict will not allow you to do the same now Let's uh, come to the third section, the final section of this of this video, which is um, the various ways in which you can plot your price. Bar charts, the conventional bar charts. There you go. Now, if you would have noticed, as I zoom out, the bars are thinner. As I zoom in, the bars all of a sudden become a little thicker. This can be, you know, selected under chart settings. I'll try and create a different video on this chart settings. There are quite an aspects about chart settings. 
and uh, over here there is something called thin bars if you keep it selected the bars will remain thin throughout irrespective of whether you zoom in or zoom out i have deselected it and that's why they are thicker as i come close i, I think it visually it looks better at least for me so bar charts candlestick charts the conventional candlestick charts then we have hollow candles hollow candles are essentially color coded based on your previous day's close so that's hollow candles keeping that in mind i i prefer using hollow candles line chart one of the most powerful uh, ways uh, in which you can do your analysis especially when you're doing a comparative analysis with price and various momentum indicators the line chart then there's area and baseline baseline shows where it has closed and as you shift your time frame it shows the the positivity and the negativity uh, of that particular time period but essentially the most conventional ones are your bars candles and yes of course the icon ashi apart from that the renko kagi point and figure and range bars are also possible the range charts you'll be able to um, access again i i'm quite sure that range charts are only subjected to those who are um, who are using a paid version of uh, of trading view and uh, over here as you can see that there are um, i think we are on the chart of itc yes wherein there are various ways in which you can add select again i think this requires a different um, a video altogether uh, to talk about and and this section also to talk about uh, trading views way of plotting charts but bars simple candles again you would have noticed by now the yellow stars next to these names essentially i've highlighted them and they stay up here so every time i don't have to drop down and do this so let's restrict this video till this point wherein it's just a, a first step for anyone to install the desktop app Uh, look for charts any stock any market um change different time frames and then change the way you uh, mark your charts the bar charts or candlesticks the following video i will talk about this particular section of the uh, of the top panel if we call this a top panel on trading view i think there are 11 or 12 aspects so we covered few of them the next video i'll be covering these i hope you found this video useful if i've missed out something or if you know something which uh, is like a shortcut and can benefit our listeners viewers and me also please uh, do not hesitate share it um, i'll be more than happy to learn from you thank you trade well